Hey everyone, it's the Snakey, back again with another video. Wow, this is like the third video I've made on Watch Dogs Legion, but I want to keep bringing you fixes to problems that you may be having, and we've already sorted out the black bars on either side of the screen. Today I wanted to bring you a much more kind of game-changing uh, fix, and that is for screen tearing. So any of you who, who are playing on a monitor that doesn't have G-Sync or FreeSync, or if you're playing on a TV like me, a 4K TV that doesn't have any sort of variable refresh rate support or anything like that, well, you're probably going to be getting horrendous screen tearing like the type that you're seeing on the screen right now. Um, I tried to capture this as well as I could, so apologies for the gorilla style setup there, or kind of uh, thrown together recording style. It's uh, reminiscent of DSP when he started off first, if any of you remember that. But yeah, you can see pretty bad screen tearing there uh, overall. Just really, really bad. And it was really taking me out of the experience. Normally, I don't mind a bit of screen tearing, because it does happen. But in this game, especially considering the system that I'm running, it was a big problem. So, the fix. What is the fix? Well, here I am on my desktop. Basically, what you can do is you can turn on um, the vsync in the game and that will of course smooth out the image really nicely and get rid of all screen tearing but it, it introduces a really bad um input lag so the solution to this is actually just to enable vsync from the nvidia control panel i can confirm this works with amd cards but um I'm, i would hope that it would be exactly the same so the first thing you're going to do is go into your nvidia control panel and what i like to do is i don't want to have vsync on for all my games because it introduces input lag in other games. For instance, I was playing Teardown recently and uh, I, I could notice with the mouse and keyboard a lot of input lag. But I've tested Watch Dogs Legion with the mouse and keyboard and haven't noticed any screen tearing whatsoever. So I'm gonna go into program settings and what you're gonna do is you're gonna add and hopefully Watch Dogs Legion shows up on this list. If it doesn't, just browse and find the uh, exe, the ex executable file for Watch Dogs Legion and add it to your selected program list. Once it's here, then what you're gonna do is go down to vertical sync. And I played around with loads of suggestions from people on the internet that tried to help me out with this, such as having adaptive uh, ver uh, vertical sync on and fast vsync as well. Neither of these made any difference to Watch Dogs and I don't know why. So what you need to do is set this to on. And what that's gonna do is every time that the that Watch Dogs is run, it will only enable vsync and force vsync on, but it's using your graphics cards vsync. The Nvidia VSync, and as you can see from the footage now on the screen, you should have pretty much no uh, VSync error, screen tearing issues at all. It really does remove the majority of it. Now, a bit of a disclaimer here: the only thing that I have noticed is when using this, you may notice a slight penalty on your frames. I noticed maybe four, four or five frames max. It's barely noticeable, but with how poorly optimized Watch Dogs Legion is anyways, you shouldn't really notice it and it shouldn't be a big issue for you. Also, it could just be me that noticed that. Maybe it's complete, like, type of a in-my-head placebo type thing, but overall, I did notice maybe five frames max of, of a difference. So that's a little tip for you there, guys, to get rid of screen tearing with minimal input lag. I've tested this with the mouse and keyboard and haven't noticed anything at all. Your mileage may vary depending on the card you're using. I'm using a 2070 Super but see how it goes for you and report down below if it, this guide helped you and uh, if you've got any other solutions to screen tearing, you can leave them down below as well. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please support my channel if you enjoy the content I make and I'll see you in the next video.